All right, you guys, let me catch it. Bow, Shung Nick. Do in tennis begin. Honor, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self control, courage, community. Bow, Nick. Jimmy. Good. All right, guys. So here's how this is going to work. You guys know I love timers. That's what, no, that's not what I told you to do, timer. Okay. All right, so how this is going to work, I want you to pick one Taekwondo technique and one exercise. So it can be jumping jacks and front kicks. It can be squats and punches. It can be mountain climbers and crescent kicks. It can whatever. So one Taekwondo technique and one exercise. And we're going to start at 10, and we're going to work our way down to one. You have two minutes to do this. Okay? So, for example, 10 jumping jacks, 10 front kicks. Nine jumping jacks, nine front kicks. Eight, eight, all the way down to one. Does that make sense to everybody? Cool. All right. Two minutes. I hope you thought of your exercises and your technique. Go. Where did you say they were again? I was like very confused a little bit. You pick one Taekwondo technique and pick one exercise and do both of them 10 times, then do both of them eight, nine times, and then eight, then seven, all the way down to one. You can do it. Come on. Do jumping jacks and front kicks. 10 jumping jacks, 10 front kicks. Nine jumping jacks, nine front kicks. Work your way down. You got a minute, 30 seconds. Let's go. What are we doing? Who's talking to me? Hold on. Oh, I didn't even see you there, Miss Tessa. All right, so oh, pick, I just got uh, All right, so pick a Taekwondo technique and an exercise and work your way down from 10 to zero. So 10 jummy jacks and 10 front kicks. Nine jummy jacks, nine front kicks, something like that. Okay. Cool. You got less than a minute. <laughs> Okay, if you're going to do front kicks, do both feet. 45 seconds, guys. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. All right, now, if that was really easy for you guys, keep going. We've got 15 seconds left. If that was really easy for you, then I want you to take that and next time either add five or make it a little bit difficult, do something a little bit more challenging for you. Okay? And time. All right, let's get into our stretches for today. Arms forward. Backward. Hug. Up and down. Hands on their hip. Hip side to side. Really kind of push. Circles. Other direction. All right, rotate your knees. Other direction. All 
And I'm here, guys, just to kind of relax ourselves. We're going to put our feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. And I want you to just kind of slump your upper body. Just kind of hang it. Let everything relax down. Head down, arms just kind of loose. Relax. Now hang down there. All right, from there, go ahead and get into cobra stretch position. And looking over opposite shoulders. Cat back. Sit back on your heels. All right, sit up, and we're going to do our torso twist. So one leg over the top of the other, hand comes across, and twist backwards. And turn, switch feet, other side. Right, feet apart. Now you should be able to go pretty wide since we already finished our split challenge. Hands on the head, go side to side. And then 10 times in the middle. When you're finished, butterfly. Stand up. All right, guys, so from here, here's what we're going to do. Let me pull out this guy. All right, so we're going to work on a couple different kinds of round kicks today. Okay, so first I want to work on transitional kicking, being able to take this chamber 
and turn it into whatever kind of kick you want, right? So we're gonna start out with a basic one and then we'll kick it up a notch. First one, front leg, front kick, round kick combination. One, two, very easy, right? So we're gonna do it five times, front leg, front round. And I'm gonna give you guys some tips to help you out. Okay, here. Right, ready on my count, five times. Firing stance. One. Two. Front kick, round kick. Come on, Miss Holiday. Front kick, round kick. You can do this. You can do it. Doesn't have to be very high. Give it a try. Three. Mm -hmm. Four. Holiday, you have to try something, okay? If you're going to be in class, we need to participate. All right, let's go. What number am I on? 42? Five. <laughs> That's all you, Marlo. All right, before we switch feet, let me kind of give you guys a little tip here. As we're doing this, I want you to think about your knee has to stay in the same spot. Usually this is what happens. We get our front kick, boom, everything happens, and we're cool. But this, once I turn it, goes over here for my round kick, and then I end up kicking that way. That's not a round kick, is it? It's like a weird, funky, I don't know what that is kick. What we want to happen is your knee stays right here as you rotate, pulling the foot back towards your bottom. Okay, so now take your time. I want you to really pay attention to where your knee is when you do this kick. Here, keep your knee in the same spot. There, it should not be like this. Because that's what I see. Grady, you just did it. You did exactly what I said not to do. Still did it better <laughs> all right guys give another try other foot now on my count so we're just keeping our knee in the same spot correct yes okay for both kicks your knee goes here and then it just turns what almost looks like you did a side kick tessa <laughs> two almost Three. Everyone's still doing it. Here, let me help you guys out a little more. Here, I'm going to bring it up to me. All right. Now, something that's very common when we get into a round kick position, we want to lift our foot up to the side to do a round kick so that way my knee doesn't come in front of me. So we lift up this way to do a round kick when we're doing it normally. Things can get a little shifted when we add a front kick in. So I want you to think about pulling your hips kind of backwards, pulling that knee back. I'm going to show you this way. So here, take this knee, pull it back here to where my hip is in line with my knee, which is in line with my shoulder. All one line here, guys. So if I turn, all one line. It shouldn't be that. This is not a line. Your body should look like a straight line, like an L, not a Z. So just for a second, this is what I want us to do. Let's ignore the round kick just for a moment. I want you to front kick, grab your knee, and then pull with your arm to pull it in line with your hip. But don't round kick. About five times on your own. We're going to be here, grab it, pull. You should feel a stretch like in here and up here. About five times each leg, let me see. Until we can get that motion, then we'll add the kick back in. Yes, Miss English, that's exactly what it needs to be. No, no round kick, Miss Marlowe, Miss Bartlett. No round kick. Now you see your knee? Come a little bit closer, Miss Bartlett. 
Do it again, slowly. Freeze. Where's your knee in line with? Yeah, I got to pull it back. It needs to be in line with your hip. Your, your hip needs to be here. Your knee needs to be further back. There. If anything, your knee needs to be behind your hip. Even more. Even more. You're going to feel it. Don't move your body. Just move your hip and your knee. <laughs> no. Now, do you guys feel that up in this area? If you feel that, that should happen every time you do a round kick. Every time, not just when we're doing this. You should feel that stretch. That's where it should be. Okay? Now, add the kick back in. Five times each leg. I'll let you count on your own this time. Now make sure we're pulling that knee back in line with the hip. Now, Grady, it almost looks like you're pulling it back so far, you're round kicking. Or not round kicking, you're side kicking. <laughs> but it's just from this video. It's hard to see. It's probably because um, the maybe the lighting where I am might be a little... Possibly. Possibly. Or it's just that my, it's blending in with my shirt because my shirt's pretty dark, too. Mm hmm Possibly. All right, Miss Holiday, did you do your kick? Do your kick. Front kick, round kick, keeping that knee in line with the hip. I've tried that and I, I lose my balance every time. That's okay. It's never, it's not going to be perfect. That's okay. All right, guys, so from here, with that same idea, I'm going to bring this back to speaker view. Oh, if it'll let me. Okay. With that same idea, we're going to now transition into a different kick. We're going to front kick, side kick, and we're going to add another hook, front, side, and hook. So this one's going to take a lot of this kind of stuff. Knee, hip, leg control. Guys, this is what it looks like. One, two, three. One, two, three. All three kicks must look different. All three kicks have a different knee position. This one's going to really test your knowledge of the different kicks. So when we do a front kick, your knee's in front. Side kick, your knee is pulled in. Hook kick, it goes here, out, and then it brings it all the way back behind you. Your whole leg has to move for the hook. So give this one a try. Front, side, hook. One, two, three. All right, five times each leg. Front, side, hook. Front, side, hook. Uh-oh. Now, when you do that hook, that knee should not be in front of you. Your knee should be more behind you at the end of your hook kick. At the end of your hook kick, your knee should be behind you. Front, side, hook. Front, side, hook. Aloise, where'd you go? You disappeared. There you are. Hey, Grady, do you want to know why you're losing your balance when you're doing your hook kick? Yes, sir. What are these? I'm not, I'm looking down instead of. Ding, ding, ding. Look up, buddy. Kicks follow the eyes. Look up. You'll have significantly sir. better balance. By the way, right now, um, I'm, I'm just doing the. I'm just trying to get down the motion, the transition between the side kick and the hook kick. So that's fine. If you, you see me not have your eyes up, I'm just letting you know that's why. You should still have your eyes up, though, regardless. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> All right, front side hook. All right, guys, so uh, yeah. We'll stop there for now. This is something I want you guys to work on. These different kinds of transitional kicking things. Being able to throw a bunch of different kicks without putting your foot down, having that control. That shows a lot of skill, a lot of practice, a lot of artistry. Okay. Something you can add to your sparring later on. All right, guys. So from here, let's get into the forward. I like this one. All right. So from here, what's going to happen is I'm going to show you guys the form facing this direction towards you guys, it's gonna be flipped, and then I'm gonna turn around and do it facing the other way so you guys can follow along with me, okay? Because the camera is flipped, this is my right, this is my left, and I know it's opposite for you guys, okay? So follow along, but keep in mind, this is my right side, this is my left side. And then I'm gonna turn around and you can really follow along with me because it'll be exactly as you guys are. All right, ready? June B. One, step back, back stance, X block, and yell, oh, yeah. Twist kick with the right leg. Land forward in a front stance, right hand punch, left hand punch. Now step back in a front stance. High block, should be left hand, left foot in the front. One hand chamber, low block. Twin arc hand. Going from the left to the right. Reaching back. Lift up, turning to the right. 45 degree angle, one legged double fist block. Reach back, step down. Left, upset palm heel. Right punch. Left. Kind of reinforced forearm block there. Right? Everyone with me so far? Right. That is the end of the first section. So let's do that part again. I'm going to turn around so you guys can follow along. All right, I'm here. Should be regular June B. Right leg steps back, X block. Hey -ya! Back stance. Right twist kick. Land. Right punch. Left punch. Step back. Left high block. Left low block. Twin arc hands. Not reaching up, go up on one leg, double fist block. That hurt something. Now step down, 45, palm heel with the left, punch with the right, forearm block with the left. My right fist should be under my left elbow. Okay, steady state. At the end of the first section. Okay. Everyone kind of follow along with me so much so far? When you're facing that way, facing towards the wall, it just kind of throws me off a little bit. I like it so? when you're facing this way. I can't well, when see. I face this way, man, everything is backwards. Because this well, is my facing, right hand. Yeah, when you're facing the wall, I can't see what you're doing. No, I understand that, but it's easier for you to follow along because my right side and your right side line up with each other. That's why I do it both ways. If me facing backwards is bothering you, to ignore that and just 
follow along with me forward, even though it's going to be backwards. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now let's get into the next section. So I'm going to face forward again, go into section two, and then turn backwards, do section two backwards. And then we're going to do that with section three. And then section four. <laughs> okay. Right. So from here. I heard that second degrees only do just the first two sections. It depends on your level, ma'am. Depends on your level. Not everybody is a level two. All right. Back from the beginning. Is English? Um, so second degree level one just does the first two, right? How, uh, how many cycles have you been in second degree, ma'am? This is the first one. So all you will have to do is just that first section. Okay. okay. Just the part cool. we just did. Okay. All right, I'm gonna... Wait, so... Wait, because um, if I did all of mine, like, um, for the Mr. Jackson... I'm listening. Oh, so, um... Be, um, because I'm doing three cycles before a test instead of two, so for the age limit, because there's an age limit for third mm -hmm. degree, would I have mm -hmm. to do the first two sections because I'm level one? Because I'd be going an extra um, cycle? Hold on, say again. So because I'm doing three and three cycles instead of two to test um, for my level two, um, be, um, would I have to, um, do this set, just the second section? Okay, no, so, um, if you're level one, sir, you do the first, first level form, okay? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I just looked I at Mr. Heard Haynes something and he earlier. reassured me. Level one, do the first level, level two, do the first and second, and then go from there. something crazy. Okay? I, something, I think I must have misheard something in one of the earlier classes, so I was like, it's Please. okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's okay. So level Thank one, you. do the first part. Level two, do the first and second, and so on. This English. Hold on. It won't let me unmute you. Can you unmute yourself? There you go. Okay. All right. Um. So I have to wait two two cycles before I test, right? Depending. Well, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But like every cycle, the form changes. So yep. what would I do for testing? Would I be yeah. doing this? Form? All right, so black belts have two forms, guys. So black belts have their color belt form, which is whatever one that we're on that cycle. And then they have their black belt form. So I don't need to learn the color belt form until next cycle. Oh, yes, you do. But I only yes, use Everyone still needs to do the color belt forms too. That still needs to happen. Okay, but okay, I'm just because this is not your testing cycle doesn't mean we don't need to learn the color belt forms as well. No okay. slacking. <laughs> because if you're on the instructor team, if you're teaching, you won't know what to do. That, no, and that. at some point you will still have to do that form. So might as well get started on it. No slacking. Who asked that question? Ms. English. <laughs> Girl, I'm going to come out there and I'm going to dunk you in that pond with all those uh, turtles in it. <laughs> all right, but so would I use this black belt form or the next one? Because there's one every cycle, right? Yes, whichever cycle that we're on currently, if that is your, your testing cycle, you do that color belt form plus your black belt form. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. I won't test, test until like the month of September, correct? Fact I'm not sure. I'd have to look. Okay. Every cycle that you're under, guys, that will be the form that you do. Let's continue. All right, guys, let's move on. Sorry, back to the beginning, going through two. One. Two, 
three, four. Step back, five. To be your left hand. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. That's section one. Now moving on into section two. Two step transition. Right foot. Left foot. Front kick. Double. This is double knife hand block, by the way. Front kick. Chamber. Two high spear hands. Left. Right. Back leg. Side kick. Land to the front in a back stance. Double fist block. Reach, step, turning to the back. Double fist block again. Reach, now stepping with your left foot, stepping to the front. Double knife hand block. So two double fists, one double knife. Right. And there, right hand. This is my right hand. Comes up, left hand down, shift into a sitting stance, nine block. So my right arm is down, left arm, kind of punching myself in the arm. Let's do it back. From there, left arm chambers on the top, I'm bringing my right foot in front of me around to face the back. Low knife hand block, front stance. Back leg round kick. Hop side kick and yell. Land in a front stance, twin punch hot. That's the end of section two. Okay. So if you have section two, that is where you end. Okay. Real quick, just so I know who's going where. Who has the first two sections or more? Or just you two. Everyone else is just the first I'm section. To, I'm I, to, um the fourth section, so. Oh, okay. So who raise your hand if you only have one section to learn? I'm I only have okay, one I got section, you, but I'm I got you. I'm uh, now raise your hand if you have two sections to learn. Three. And four. Okay. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come close here. I'm gonna take a second. I want you guys to practice what you re can remember, and I'm gonna watch you guys a little bit more individually to kind of help you out more. Okay. So let me start down here at the bottom with Miss English, and then I'll do Mr. Alois and Mr. Bird. And then Mr. Earl, and <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then we'll do Grady, and then Miss Bartlett, and then Miss Holiday, and myself. Just kidding. All right. <laughs> All right. So practice what you what you know, guys. Miss English, I'm watching. I actually haven't been practicing my second degree form. So whose fault is that? Mine. I've been staying I'll help you as much as I can. Okay. I want you to practice what you can remember. All right, go ahead, ma'am. Here, I'm going to unmute you so we can talk. Well, I can't unmute you. Won't let me. There we go. There you go. Here and then. Twist kick. Oh, yeah. Two punches. Step back, high block. Low block. Twin arc hand. So there's this thing. Now you're going to reach back. Up on one leg. Yes. Then step down in a sitting stance. 
Now, ma'am, when you reach for that, that palm heel, this is the chamber. Other one, other arm, other arm. So right arm should be out, left arm, yeah, so then you're gonna come up. Yep. Punch, and then hand goes by your ear. Yes, that's it. That's all of it? That's all of the first section, yes, uh-huh. <laughs> Mr. Aloy, it's your turn. Where'd you go? I went to get water. Okay. Make sure that's a twist kick, not a front kick. I need to see it turn over. Better. <laughs> There's a yell on that sidekick, just so you know. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm going to stop you right there. When you do the double in a forearm block, that one is facing forward. And then when you step down, you're going to be at the 45 for the palm heel. Sure. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the only, the right there, forward, and then 45. Forward, then 45. Yep. Boom, boom. Yes. Good. Slow down. Okay. Slow down. Let's make sure every piece of the puzzle is beautiful. Yes, sir. All right. All right, Mr. Bird. Hey, Mr. Jackson, real quick. Do we do the twist kick with our front foot or our right, right leg? Foot? It's right. the back leg. It's your right foot. Okay. Okay, so. I do not remember the fourth section, so. That's, that's okay. Probably... It's not as important right now. We'll get into that later on. But yes, sir. something that I want to talk to you about, we know all the moves, but I want you to slow down just a hair. And I want yes, you to sir. really focus on your chambers because you're shortcutting a lot of your chambers. Yes, sir. Like this one. I saw this to be here to come up. Some of your double knife hands, you're kind of shortcutting those. Yes, sir. Okay. Make sure we get full extension on those. Then lastly, when you make a fist for like a double fist block, close all of your fingers. Sometimes they see something that kind of looks like a palm heel. It's gonna be nice and tight, nice and tight. Okay. Grady. Your turn, bud. Okay. Well, that's good. Well, if I had to say anything, it's on your twin arc hand, it's kind of like you kind of T-Rex arm in it. It's kind of like right here. It needs to be a little bit higher. It be kind of more pronounced. So not like right. Sense. Not here. It should be eye level. Right here. Eye it level. Should be like that. Was that what I was doing? That's kind of what you were doing. It needs to be up eye level. 
come out here a little bit more pronounced movement. Does that make sense? Yeah. Thank you. I'll work on that when I'm practicing more. Yeah, just kind of just lift your arms up a little. That's all. Miss Bartlett. Hold on, go back to your nine block. Which foot are you moving to turn around? You can talk, you're unmuted. I can't hear you. Is your sound over? Your left, is it your, that should be your right foot. Right foot comes all the way around. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now keep going. Yeah. Okay. So uh, another thing, when you do this move, make sure this arm is back behind you. Nice, good, straight arm. Kind of saw this. You back here, both arms extended, comes up. Does that make sense? Okay. So I have a question. Yes. How long is today's plank challenge? One minute. It's the first day okay. of the challenge. Yes. All right, Miss Holiday, your turn. Show me what you can remember, and then I'll help you through the rest. Yes, right now. You want me to unmute so that we can talk or anything or no? Yes. Yes. For right now, it's fine. Jun B? You did. Okay. So step that foot down in a front stance, right hand punch, left hand punch. Now step back in a front stance, so your right foot is gonna go behind you. Yep, that foot goes behind you. In a front stance, you have high block, then same arm, low block. Yes. Now twin arc hands, you're gonna start on your left side, yes, and then just slowly transition to your right. We gotta turn your hand. Yeah, like that. <laughs> now reach back over your right shoulder to chamber for the double fist block. Come up, yes, double fist. Step the foot down. Palm heel. Punch. And then the forearm block. Yes, there you go. All right. That's right. That's right. Now you have to do two sections, yes? Okay. Level one or two? One. Okay, never mind, that's it. Okay. okay, you got it. You got it. Okay. All right, guys, we'll stop there. We have just enough time to get into our challenge for today. Split, ch or not split challenge. I'm getting going back in time. Plank challenge, plank challenge. You guys can do it on your hands or your elbows. So everyone get down in position. And I'll start the timer when everyone's in plank position. All right, it's just a minute, it's just a minute. You can do it. All right, ready, go, it's going. Keep your back nice and straight, knees off the ground. Come on, Miss Holiday, you can do this, come on. Come on, let's go. Yes, you can do it, let's go.
It's only a minute. Now keep it up. That's 30 seconds, you're halfway. Please keep the back nice and straight up on those toes. Fifteen seconds left. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. There you go. See, that wasn't that bad. Wait until we get six minutes. But anyway. That was pretty easy. Yeah, every day it's going to increase. Every day it's going to increase. So keep in mind, guys, if you are only taking black belt classes on Friday, it's going to increase a lot. So keep that in mind. So you can go for one minute. By the time we hit next week, you'll be, we'll be at like a minute and something, a little bit higher. You might be at two minutes or so. I'm not sure. But keep that in mind. You want to be taking classes through the week. That way we get practice on this and we'll be, it'll be better. Okay. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Keep working hard. Watch your forms videos on your app so we can get that down, guys. All right, have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time on the mat. Bye, everyone. All right, thank you for your help.